Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and wolves of all ages. Alpha Wolf here, something right on in. So we're now coming here with in with episode five of the Hoi Four series, A to Z with Afghanistan. Now, here's the deal. Um, yeah, we are in a interesting situation. So I I don't know what to do here. I'm gonna debate F ten. I am entirely surrounded by the allies. As you, if you can't tell I just turned on the game and just loaded in. However I'm not gonna say we're exactly hurting on equipment per se. We definitely could be doing better, that's for sure. So we are definitely in a interesting scenario here. Um, I've got plenty anti-tank and such, so I've got more factories I could put out. So what I'm thinking about doing, folks, uh, up the ante over here. Do that. Gonna need a lot of stuff eventually. So. And we'll do that for now. Okay. So, what I'm considering about doing, because I'm not part of these guys, the, the, uh, this group up here got its teeth kicked in. The Austrian League is a fascinating situation. Federal state of Austria, and then you got the uh, Romanian's people, uh, Republic. So, that they're getting their teeth kicked. You've got these guys over here that are relatively as is. Actually, hold on, are they part of... No, they, they're, they're nationalists as well. Um, Treaty of Kiev, man. Then we've got NATO, who's fighting the <laughs> entirety of the war. That seems appropriate, all things considered. Um, I don't know. So, I this is the situation I'm in. I always get to this point where I'm not certain what to do. I know what you're thinking. Wolf, Wolf, just join NATO. Wolf, Wolf, go join NATO. Uh, yes, we were preparing for it. However, I don't know. And it's one of those situations where I don't know what to do. Also, I just remembered I would like to address the fact that the last few videos have been super silent. Um, reason being is because OBS did the OBS thing and got rid of using my proper microphone. Yay. So, yeah, that's, uh, that, that's, that's, that's fun. So, yeah, um, uh, well, I'm gonna do, you know, I know I'm prepping, I'm prepping, and I'm prepping, and I'm prepping. I'm gonna eventually have to rip the band-aid off here. And uh, I know some of you are thinking, Wolf, why uh, why don't you have a navy? Didn't you gobble up some of your allies? My navy keeps going to the ocean that's up here for some reasons that I do not comprehend. So... I'm gonna make this a simple 7 2 for a garrison unit. Uh, four, five, six, seven, yep. 
tempted to give him rocket artillery for the poops and giggles. Make him have this. We'll give him a maintenance company. Support and artillery. Support anti-air. And support anti-tank. It's a relatively cheap unit. However, they are not a company. They are a garrison division. So here's the thing. They're not special forces. They aren't paratrooper qualified. It's fine, though. garrison unit. So we will make them have um, yeah, we'll just make them a garrison. They, that looks pretty garrison-y to me. I, I can't believe I said that. But yeah, so we're gonna make these boys be the, have the priority here. In theory, these guys should not be seeing a whole lot of combat. If they are seeing a lot of combat, and I said theory, and my stupid phone thought I said the other word. Ugh, I hate when that happens. But yeah, so, I don't remember what I did. I don't remember what I did. All I remember is we were having issues of manpower. So, I did something. It's probably over here, which reminds me. Assume our goods need to go down. I need experience. Research buffs are nice. Get some more research going. Get some more less consumer goods. Hit it all. Hit it all. Let's go. Okay. I need to just stop dilly-dallying at this point. How many do I have, anyways? Convoys. How many convoys do I even have? Only 2.5k. That's not the greatest. We're going to go ahead. We're going to sell some equipment. God, that was so quiet. I didn't. We're gonna. Oh, Spain, Spain just joined NATO. Sell equipment. Add equipment to the market. You know, we're going to sell anything that isn't ours. Reason being is, well, we don't really need non-produced stuff that isn't ours. No non-domestic equipment. So we're gonna sell for the highest we can. A neutral nation. No one needs to fear our economy, right? We're, we're, we're all buddies with the world. No one needs to worry about little Afghanistan. Looks over at my giant borders. <laughs> Almost canceled that.
Who knows, the British might actually buy back their planes. I don't know how I have British planes. Don't ask me. I didn't do any cheating, so I don't know how I have those. I do, somehow. Maybe they were captured when we defeated the Germans? Only thing I can come up with, to be honest. We're keeping our planes to ourselves, though. Dear God, those fighter forties from who are those from? I don't even know. But they're worth a good chunk. Some of these planes, man, they're worth quite a lot. Like these, it's fighter forties. That's a lot of industry for us being gathered. If even a half, not even half, a quarter of these planes get sold, we will be absolutely flooded. Like, look at the value of some of these things, man. into the war that would be, but I'm not going to bother. Almost done here. want you all to see what I'm doing. And, yeah. 463,869. Going to market. That is a hell of a. Ooh, when you got a buyer. Sure. I. Afghan. The Afghanistan International Arms Dealer. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> We've become an arms dealer. Oh, we almost got Germany down to integrated puppet. Hungary and Slovakia. Bohemia and Slovakia are almost are down to integrated puppets. It's going to take a while, but uh, man, I'm regretting that decision. In the other end, in my head, it was a matter of functionality in that time. Uh, okay, well. Let me guess. Manpower? Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, God. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do. Our manpower is just egregiously low at all times. We cannot realistically fight without massive assistance. Did I need to guard here, 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 possibly here? Without, and that's without my puppets somehow getting yoinked in if we were to join a faction. So, yeah, it's a uh, bit of an issue. Oh, we got more factories. Sweet! Just do this. We're gonna get a better destroyer here, 1948, 1948. You know what? Throw the Seawolf into production. Let's make a. Let's make a hundred of them. I shall dictate your location. Of your continued existence.
Right here. You shall deploy there. Dear God, we have a lot of dockyards out of nowhere. See, 25. Oh no. So that'd be 30. 31. Do I want to worry about battleships? I don't even know if I'll be able to maintain cruisers, to be honest. Especially in this era, I'd have to get to 48. Nah, I think we're gonna hold off on that for a while. Let's go ahead and get oh, God, modern jets. Oh boy. Jets are gonna be. Oh, look, we're polarized. <laughs> But yeah, no, seriously. Um, shoot, man, we are. Whew, our goose be cooked at this point. You know what I just realized? If the Italians get their butts kicked out of there, Republic of Crimea. If the Russians could kick the Italians out of there, ooh. half our army is on the border. Now, I have fortified up here. So, in theory, we shouldn't need to worry about... Yeah, our, oh, we got a doctor to be fixed. That explains why I have doctors coming up all on. Yeah, but I fortified the border over here. I don't really want to be fighting Russia. Dear God, why is everyone in the Allies? Ugh. If I were to join NATO, I'd be fighting the whole world, essentially. For all intents and purposes. Why is that split in half? Huh? Maybe it's a puppet? Maybe? Hold on. No. No. Huh. BTR 50. Why am I using BTR? Garrisons, I know. Supply range of supply speed. Yeah, it's. Oh God. We are hurting right now. I need more manpower somehow. Well, we're producing our first submarine really quickly. In like three days, we'll have a first submarine. Hi, Germany. If you could get your ships out of that particular port, that would be phenomenal. Hey, 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 hey let's go! We got our first 
first submarine, our first ship. Okay, we need officers. Give me something good. Gentlemanly. Eh. 25%. So minus 5% is what I'm seeing. Capacity of 10 ships. My god, you are not that good. Adherent. Eh. Iron side experience factor, 50%, okay. Bull, naval speed, naval dam- ooh. Sir, I like you. Let's see if I can get someone. Okay, so Admiral Tamir Mohammed. Your uniform gets you the commission. I did uniform checks, and uh, he had the most pristine looking uniform in the naval command and therefore was awarded command of our first fleet. Boy, I get that running. That's being said. Oh my god. Yeah, we're gonna have issues for a while. Manpower's gonna suck. Is there anything I can do that will help me with manpower? Not really. Eh. Maybe develop some oil fields, I guess. Why not? any of this. I guess I could do that. Anything over here that I haven't done yet? No, not really anything particular. Oh, there's this thing. percent consumer goods. Uh, let's see. At least 201 oil. 200. Okay. The part is not communist. Country is not the U.S., U.K., French, or my puppet. So Germany. Hmm. I don't know. I, I, hmm. I'm seeing a lot of good. We get more oil, more oil capacity. Ideology drift defense is plus 20. Oh. The factory output minus 10. Research speed minus 5. Construction speed minus 10. Construction doesn't hurt as bad. We're not really doing that much. Let's do... I don't know... Eh... We'll do welfare capitalism, I guess. Alright, time to start working on bombers, I think. Well, I do need modern cannons. Air -cap cannons. If we start doing modern jets, I might also do aircraft cannons while I'm at it, you know. Division designer. Do an armored division. Do 
modern tanks. And I'm producing them. Actually, hmm. We'll put a fourth here, and then what we'll do is we'll switch it over for mechanized infantry. company and support artillery for the time being I don't know how well this will perform but uh, it's got a decent hardness I think yeah 71 percent probably could do a little bit better than that to be honest 184 more like 274 uh, okay okay pausing it's a nasty habit I have this late game it's really not helpful unless I'm in a war and there's like 12,000 things popping off you know um, back to our government um, I don't really need stability construction speeds okay resource efficiency gain plus six versus minus five so we would be Gaining a plus one to our resource, but uh, boy, minus two percent research, minus four percent for factory and dockyards, trade opinion factor minus ten percent, military. Oh my god, um, minus four. We still okay. So we neutralize the effects of the welfare economy, essentially. Yeah, we'll do foreign investments are encouraged. And what do we have here? No bonds. Now, I can't do that anyway because we're not at war. Yeah, okay. We're fine there. Uh, still did not help. I don't remember what I did. How are we looking on? Oh my god. Okay, yeah, I need to prioritize steel. I don't even see where I, how many nuclear factories I would have. but I'm still dying when it comes to steel and tungsten. Oh, God. Hi, India. I don't want to do this, but, uh... Uh, no.
I won't be hurting nearly as much, but um Pure state of error. Nope, they're not ready yet. Uh, any little bit helps without actually up <laughs> and immediately has it modified. And we're not going to stay positive. Yep, there it is. Oh, we got, uh, 11 divisions, though, come off the assembly line, so to speak. This will be Army Group Black. I'll keep him in reserve. I'll be having tanks coming out of the assembly lines and into the battal the battalion soon enough. They're all we're still greenhorns technically. Um you sir, let's see what traits you'll have. Excellent! Congratulations sir, you on your new command. You're an infantry officer, that's what that army group is entirely made of is well Infantry. Congratulations. Um, modern warfare requires airplanes increasingly use larger bombs on tar on enemy targets over time. This uh, more into a fundamental aspect of aerial warfare. Ground attack of eight. Six. Six. I don't know why I would use. Hold on. Why would I. Yeah, why would people use armor piercing? I don't understand why, what niche that is fulfilling. Eight ground. I can see us using heavy bombs on our big boy bombers. I have to make new guns soon. Oh boy. Dissolves its faction. Interesting. Anything around me that's neutral that isn't surrounded by the allies? No? Wonderful. Okay. Uh, what are we gonna do? I don't have enough armies to go, uh, enough, enough stuff to go west. Um, you know what? Plop these guys over here. Have the units coming out of boot camp deploy over here on the river, of course. Really? Yeah. And, uh, we'll figure things out from there. Uh, 267. Uh, we'll might as well just get this real quick. Doesn't hurt to finish off that tree. Oh boy. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all want new guns? Here's some new guns. My problem is I have more factories than I know what to do with. 
so I'm in a weird situation. So that's a 31, so 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. How rude. I said 6. <laughs> Eight. Go on, yeah, I don't have full control over it, but uh yeah, well. Hmm. Well we've we've begun to finish our preps in terms of uh fighting the allies. I had two full army, gr like two full theaters, two full like marshal, marshals, fully deployed and everything. I don't know how I did it, because clearly um, I'm struggling here. I'm just stuck with what I did originally. It's the problem when Wolf gets eager and wants to do stuff properly. You know, I go and screw the pooch. Classic Wolf. You know what I think I did? I just sat around and left the game running. I think that's what I probably did. I just left it running. That's like the only thing I can think of. I mean, which kind of makes sense. I don't have the political power, do I? Can I not demand it when it's their only thing? Or have I hit my limit? <laughs> oh, let's me do that. Oh, is it because they're... Uh, you know what it might be? It might be because they're a uh, tributary or something. Ahead. We'll snag this because we can. Yeah, yeah, sure. Buy my stuff. It's it's all good. It's all good. I, 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 it wouldn't be on the market if I didn't want to sell it. This. Oh my god. Economic capacity surplus. Mm. Instead of Austria's done. Not to self with World 56. Um, build more steel mills. Let's see, Afghanistan. I think Albania's next. Oh, God, help me. <laughs> if Albania's next, I am in for a hell of a ride. Hi, Albania. Yeah, you and I are going to have some fun eventually. Oh, God, help me. Why? 
Why did I choose to do this? Why do I hate myself? Oh, so much, apparently. <sighs> I'm debating. Sincerely debating. Bumping them down. And oh, screw it. Why not? Hi, friends. Have some, have some cast. I'm totally not going to regret that later on. Although probably by the time I'm done, by the time I'm fighting them, they're probably long gone at that point. That's a modern tank. Ugh. Um, give it some Rangers. Port anti air and a logistics company. This will be our armored division. And saying the name it did, um, one, a one, we're renaming the Abrams, baby. We have gotten to the point where I'm comfortable calling it the M1A1. Not an A2 yet, but yeah, it's fine. So, yeah. You want more casks? Sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, some of the stuff's not going to sell, probably, to be honest. That's kind of okay. If it doesn't sell, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just let the market do what the market does. And if something doesn't sell, I'll eventually just set it up to be a cheap as possible. Right now, I want to see what I can sell at my maximum value. Did I build forts over here? No, I did not. Build some forts there? I didn't even think about that spot in India. Get some forts up here. That's a nice little fallback spot if I need to fall back. No one's ready for the self-governance because I say so. No one gets away from me. Oh, cool. They want some heavy fighters. Nice. And I just realized I don't think I built any kind of naval force, like, at all. Some areas may have them, just uh, happen to chance from like when Turkey was building stuff, but like, I don't think I built any forts ever since I took over. Now, I don't think it really does me any favors against like land invasions, but um, in the off chance, you know, I need them, it's better just to have them and not need them and to need them and not have them I just auto accept by the way I don't I don't care who it is right now well, it looks like I've built a couple down here so I mean I wasn't completely being stupid that's a surprise I passed wolf future wolf here uh, at least if you weren't being a complete ignoramus Yeah, that's a thing. 
Just great. It's okay. You know, let's build some normal forts on the coast as well. Just for that extra oomph factor. Cool, basic large plane. Awesome. We got that going now. But as you can see, we got a reasonably large economy, so. doing this. It makes me wonder, can I build a German magnum? Because it takes a lot longer when I'm building in a puppet. At least that's what I've noticed. I could be wrong entirely. But like I've noticed that the more I build in puppet areas, the less effective my economy is. I don't know if that's an actual thing, or if I'm just perceiving things weirdly. So, you tell me if you've noticed it too, or if I'm if Walt's just imagining things, it would be nice to have some kind of confirmation. I am going to just build forts among Russia as well. We're in Fort Nation, so, you know... I only build on border provinces though. Can't build there. Okay. Um, build some forts in key locations. Problem is my capital is like right there. So if I go to war with the Allies, I am in a world of hurt because the the Indians, uh, India is like right there on my border, which is a problem since they could just outright attack my capital. So, and I'm over here just preparing much as I humanly can realistically building forts in absolute key locations I entirely expect to have to give way on, in land so in, in my head it's just better to prepare forts in absolute strategic locations like these big rivers I think I've ignored this long enough. Ah, almost. Just, um, like I said, I'm preparing for a few different scenarios here in my head, so you know, bear with me a little. ever really do anything with this. I might think about it though. For the time being, let's just work on this. I'm making fallback lines and I'm doing it deliberately. Realistically, I probably could, with how long it's taking me to go to war with the Allies and everyone. I probably could just build forts everywhere, but 
Right now, I want to try and be a little strategic with my economy as it is. I don't know how in the world I have such a powerful civilian economy, but I do. So I'm sort of kind of taking advantage of it, but. Not a lot of valuableness down here. Indian units enter Bangkok. That's a key location. See, now I'm selecting very key locations. Right there. Spots that I expect to be my supply hubs mainly. Oh. Hi, Germany. They'll be fine. end of the time frame here so I don't I don't mind a little bit of a uh, expensive research trees so Consumer goods are egregious. Not gonna lie. That's the key supply hub. That's a supply hub. Supply hub. Definitely a supply hub. Off chance they pushed there. It's a, yeah, it's a food delivered. Oh my god. Oh my god. Give me a second, folks. Alright, folks. Sorry about that. <laughs> Okay, uh, we can unpause because I want to go do things. Now we're just securing our key infrastructure. Uh, that one's not so, so important. Some of these spots are more important than others. So if I lose some of these, we lose our supply, so... Wolf is up the scaling up for a full-on war, folks. Uh, we're not doing battleships right now, so I'm going to hold off on that. Uh, that's a supply spot. Ooh, that's not what I selected, game. What? What? Why is... You know what? I could just do this. Why is it... Okay, that is a weird... situation. I don't expect too much happening over there. You know what it is? It's probably because we don't control the area. Okay, there we go. I still don't understand why it yoinks 
me out of you know, you know what whatever uh, okay that should be good enough for now that'll keep our economy running Okay, God, it's April 1951, and I'm nowhere near, I mean, I say that, but realistically, I just need this chunk. It's Northern Africa, the last bits of the Middle East, and then some of these islands over here. We're getting there. Uh, at this point, I do not care if we win the war or not. We are getting there. So, as long as I can take stuff, I will declare it a win. 67,220 more manpower is needed. We are, ah, oh, we're just so, we're, we're just, an, oh, Universal Purchase. I didn't even read the name when I was researching. I'm like, oh, research, let's, let's do a little research. Um, so. I don't know how well those modern trains that we have access to will hold up, but um, hopefully if I research them and use them, they won't get bombed to death. Like the allies tend to do to your equipment. The only good thing I know there's shortcuts, but I'm using my uh, I'm I'm work I'm using my phone and working one-handed as a result. and we'll have the advanced large airframe. Which means I'm just going to go straight to Grandpa Buff. Let's go Grandpa Buff! <laughs> Ouch! You know what? Wolf did the oopsie whoopsie. Okay, that's not the most ideal and optimal, but I... Do not care. What makes this close air support? Literally just that. Okay. Had to know. I just had to know, to be honest. Hey, we now have 12 guys on the on the border. Yay! Put, let's say, eight, people, eight divisions on the border and call that good. We can unpause. Russia's still holding its own.
Okay. Um. Probably need like more like eight people over here. Let's see how they spread it out. Intriguing. You know what? Four, two. He's at level four forks. So I should be fine in that regard. We'll make it so we have. Let's see, that's one, two, three. So we need. Hold up, hold up. The heck, give me the... So one, two, three... So, no, we need eight on this. The Kingdom of Belgium has joined the Allies. There's fewer and fewer non-factioned groups now. So eight... Six, four, so what is that? 16 out of 24 units? Okay, that's not too bad. There are Serbian units just vibing in my territory. What? Who the hell let you in here? out of my borders, bro! What the hell do you think you're doing? Get out of my territory! Get your boys out of my zone! <laughs> They're gonna die, so I guess that's fine. But, like, yikes, what... And that is eight on the border. All right. Okay. 